Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina and I'm glad you're here. Today we're making a classic potato salad using the Instant Pot. It's a perfect side dish for a lot of things. Today it's going to be a perfect side for a barbecue. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add a cup of water to the bottom. And then I'm using a steamer basket. Alright, so I have six potatoes peeled and cut into one inch cubes. Now I'm going to place my eggs on top. I have three. You could use four. Okay. Close the lid. I'm going to put it in the sealing position and I'm going to set it for three minutes. While the potatoes are cooking, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing some of my ingredients. So here I have mayonnaise. I have about a cup and a fourth. So basically I've used a cup and piled it up a bit, but it's about a cup and a fourth. Let's see, I have one medium onion that I have chopped up. So it makes about a cup and a half once it's put into a measuring cup. I have a third cup of sweet relish. You can use a dill if you'd prefer. It's just kind of up to you. I really like the sweet relish. I've used two stalks of celery and I have I've put them through the food processor because I like it really fine in my potato salad. And it's made about a half a cup. I also like to have a little bit of um, diced up bell pepper for color as well as um, vitamins and minerals that I like to sneak into my recipes. <laughs> I guess I've already covered that in my in, in my uh, video on the Swiss take, so I won't go into that again. Okay, I have one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You can salt and pepper to your taste, but what I have here is a teaspoon and a half of salt and one half teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of celery seed. I really like celery seed in this, as well as in my coleslaw. It's just really, really good. I'm going to give that stuff a stir. I like to use mustard in mine, so I'm going to put three tablespoons of mustard. A prepared mustard, I guess I should say. gone off and I'm going to release the pressure. Now here I just have some ice water and I'm going to very quickly put those eggs in there to stop them from cooking as well as to make it easier for them to peel. Now I'm going to grab these potatoes. Dump those in there. Get them all. <laughs> okay. See how easy the shells are coming off. And then when you get ready to, you know, put them in with your potatoes and stuff, you can just kind of chop them coarsely. It doesn't have to be perfect.
I like to make sure that I've grabbed that membrane when I'm peeling the eggs. It's, it helps the peelings come off. Okay, I'm going to put these eggs in here. Just so you can see. Done really good. Really well. Just perfect. looks good okay so I'm going to give this a taste for you guys I will say I do like to have mine refrigerated for a little bit uh, but I mean it will have a good taste even before you do that but uh, let's see if all the spices are right and you guys always want to taste your food because you know you may want to add a little more salt or pepper that kind of thing it's perfect Perfect. Be kind to one another. Thanks for watching.